Now, what we want to do is use sports as the greatest metaphor for life. And if we feel, we feel like if we can teach kids how to deal with anxiety, how to deal with pressure, how to deal with failure, how to deal with success through sport, then in turn it helps them to become better people, right? So like if you're struggling with something, if your kid's struggling with a bully at school or struggling with taking tests because the pressure's just too much, how do you practice that? Like as a, as a, as a father, you, you can go to your, your daughter and your son and say, okay, you know, work your hardest, um, don't worry about the end result. But those are just words, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Right? They have to physically put themselves, emotionally put themselves in that same situation over and over to really be able to understand how to deal with it. And what we're saying is that sports does that for you. So now through sport, when you practice every day and you're playing these games and you have these emotional challenges, you get used to figuring out how to navigate yourself through which in turn helps you to become a better t test taker and vice versa. I think the goal is always to win championships. No matter where you go, that's the goal. And that's his goal, that's Rob's goal, that's Magic's goal, that's Genie's goal, Rondo, all the guys, Kuzma, Lonzo, they all want to win championships, man. So that's what they're gunning for. Well, you don't need to win a champion. Well, you're asking me, you have to win championships. This is why we play. This is why we're here is to mm -hmm. win championships. And, you know, he wouldn't have came here if he, if he didn't expect to win championships. Also. Well, it's, to me, it's just really simple. Wherever you play, the object is to win championships. That's it. End of story. End of story. Never. Here's the thing, is for us athletes, it's really hard to transition from that, right? And I was really personal about it when I wrote Dear Basketball. But that is the true challenge of finding what comes next and finding something that you love to do every bit as much as you love your first passion. That is the challenge for us. And I think, unfortunately for us athletes, we've been pigeonholed into thinking that we can only be one thing. And so when I retired, everybody is saying, okay, he's too competitive, he's not gonna know what to do with himself he's gonna to have to come back. I took that as a personal challenge of them thinking I'm this one dimensional person that all I know is how to dribble the ball, shoot the ball and play basketball and compete at that level. And so I took that as a personal challenge. I will never come back to the game, ever. I'm here to show people that we can do much more than that. And creating this business, winning an Oscar, winning an Emmy and an Annie, those are things that are showing other athletes that come after, no, no, there's more to this thing, right? So I would never, it's not even a, You know, the, the, challenge, the challenge became, how do I take the lessons that I learned through the game of basketball and translate them into building the studio, right? What are the things that I can take from that? The discipline, um, the commitment, uh, the team and community. How do you get the best out of each other? How do I take those lessons and move those here? Um, that is the challenge. How do we do great work, uncompromising great work? You're not looking at the bottom line. You're focused on the product first. Right? Is this the best thing that we can possibly make, no matter what? And having that sharp focus is something that I got from the game of basketball. You know, I'll sit and I'll think and I'll create. You know, I, I write them all out. Um, and uh, create the characters, create the rules, the structure. Um, and, and then you kind of got to go with your gut. You got to go with your gut and see, are we creating something that's been done before? Or is this a project, something that nobody's seen before? Mm -hmm. And uh, is it a project that we're not sure that we can do? And if the answer is yes, then nine times out of 10, we're going for that one, right? Because that means we're pushing boundaries a little bit. I love creating. I love creating, I love directing, I love producing. I don't love acting. I don't love being in front of the camera. I like trying to figure out if the arc of the story is the right one. <laughs> There's about a 0% chance that I come back and play. So not even like a? Nothing. Zero. You're toast.
you're finished. Done. As a player. That's it. Did last year at any point with you going through your first season not yeah. playing basketball? Never. Not once did you Never. think about it? 